Ciao a tutti ragazzi, in questo video vi show you come modo il Brill Diamond Shining Pearl per play Pokémon Luminescent Planium on the Ryujin Switch Emulator. E thank you for that ragazzi, let's hop to my desktop, let's get the job done. Eh? Alright ragazzi, before we begin the tutorial, we're gonna need the three things. We're gonna need the main game ragazzi, we're gonna need Optic 1.3.0 ragazzi, without it's not gonna work. We're gonna need Luminous Plantium, the ROM hack. Now, in case you have a trouble finding the main game and update ragazzi, join my Discord and the uh, ragazzi are gonna help you out. Eh? No problem. We navigate to our web browser, I'm gonna leave a link in the screen below ragazzi where you can get to this website you don't go to try and error you're welcome once you're ragazzi click on download luminous plantium you are going to be directed to this website ragazzi now before you can click on download manual ragazzi you need unfortunately to make an account so sign up make an account ragazzi and come back here once you're done click on manual and it's going to show like this now we have your brilliant diamond ragazzi you download this one and if you have shining pearl ragazzi you download this one now i have brilliant diamond click on download ragazzi and it's give you this option here go on slow download ragazzi and went to five a second once a five second go on ragazzi it's gonna pop up like this and you can choose whatever you want once you're done close your web browser ragazzi and it's gonna shoot like it like this main game update 1.3 and limitless plantium now the first thing we're gonna do ragazzi you're gonna take the main game and the update and put it wherever you want for me i put it in a specific folder so forget about it the second thing then ragazzi you're gonna go to luminous plantium you're gonna right click and uh, you go to winrar and uh, extract to luminous plantium once it's done ragazzi should look like this you're gonna put it down here you're gonna undouble click ragazzi you're gonna take this here one we're gonna cut or copy it doesn't really matter we go into open regions and you scroll down the ragazzi till you find pokemon brilliant diamond right click open mods directory right click again and paste in just like this close this one ragazzi go back to the game right click and uh, manage mods if you see this here ragazzi you didn't did it right you still click on save you go back to the game right click and you go to manage title update ragazzi you see no updates here you go to add wherever you put the update ragazzi you navigate there so i put the update in this pc gaming d d drive roms games switch scroll it down pokemon brilliant diamond this is the update ragazzi and once in a case you, you click it wrong ragazzi don't worry the, the, the problem gonna tell you it's not the right one it's gonna look like this 1.3.0 save and you're all good now the last thing we're gonna do ragazzi we're gonna check if it's actually worked now ragazzi for me I played a little bit, so it's gonna show the show me the title screen. But for you, ragazzi, once again, ragazzi, as I said, for me it showed the title screen, right? But for you, if you play it the first time with the fresh save file, ragazzi, it's gonna give you the option. If you see only that you only can choose the English, ragazzi, then you did it right, and it's gonna be uh, fully playable, and it's gonna be the ROM hack, ragazzi. And obviously, you can see it by the beautiful scene, the snow and thingy in our this, and uh, there's a quite a difference. With this all said, ragazzi. I'm gonna get the heck out of here. Have yourself a good day, ragazzi. Bye, guys. Keep it cool and stay awesome. I'm messing with Funimo Gaming. Hey, and I'm freaking out for you. Peace.